Hey, everybody. Ah, <laughs> I'm not ready. Raj. It's Monday, October 24th, 2011. We have a great show coming up today. I'm Fiona Forbes. And are you ready, Michael Eckford? No, not at all. Is it Monday? It's Monday. You haven't worn a watch in 25 years, and you're still looking? Come on. My hair actually serves like a sundial right there. It oh. actually it, it, uh, it lines really up to the That's really sexy. Time. I know. Girls like that. I also have a hurricane of hair on my chest as well. It's like a little swirl of chest hair. Anyone who's ever seen me on the beach, you know what I'm talking about. Michael? Yes. TMI. I also have an earthquake. What? <laughs> In your pants? No, I wasn't pointing my pants. Oh my God. Let's look outside where it's, it's beautiful Monday. and sunshiny look and there's at this. blue sky and fall colors. The colors are astounding in the city right now, and I realize that. You don't always notice because usually this time of year it's raining. I know, 90 and we've been so lucky uh, with the weather. But I was talking to my mom yesterday. Stunning. I say this every year. I hope on October 31st for the little Halloweeners that it's sunny because there's nothing worse than having to cover up your kid's yeah. Halloween costume with a raincoat. Well, but talk to anybody who grew up in Edmonton or Kamloops or Kelowna for that matter. I don't talk to those people. And, <laughs> actually, I'd rather not. Uh, but they always, like, my wife... The who, snowsuits. Yeah, she grew yeah. up in, in somewhere quite in the a tundra. bit colder than this. <laughs> she was left on but a But she liked your step. earthquake. Yes, she does. Anyway, uh... How dare are you? Are you ready? How dare you? Listen, Hurricane here. How was your, uh, how was the weekend, man? Weekend was great. Uh, a friend of mine threw a big Bollywood birthday bash for her husband. And, you did know, you party because it's a we birthday? We did play, party to 50 Cent, but Trip there we are in our saris because uh, it was a theme party. It was, there were about 100 people there, and everybody dressed up. That's my friend Danielle, who scares you. Come on, Mike. <laughs> You're She's so a witch. mean to her. She's not. She is. She's my BFF, and she will kill you. You're I, I'm scared of her. I never judge people She's based right on their there. belief system, but Michael, I'm going to say it. what I'm going to say. You she always is say a me and my friend. Wicked. No, the party was. No, she's not. You have your opinions. <laughs> she is going to murder you. I'm not scared of her. I'm quite scared of her. Oh, I have a sudden back pain. Oh. Anyway, it was really fun. Uh, and there were about 100 people there, and everybody dressed up, and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, saris are quite the uh, the dress, right? Like, I mean, first of all, they're, they're not a dress. They are about 500 miles of fabric that you must get a professional to wrap on you properly. And it was held together with one safety pin. I've heard I don't this understand that. I don't know how it stayed on, but it did. Okay, one of my girlfriends, sorry, fell off, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> hey, we're going to party <laughs> like it's Anyway, a how was your weekend? Uh, weekend was great, uh, although it started off a little bit rough in my household. We got a phone call from our children's caregiver saying that, I think your youngest, Colm, needs some stitches. Uh -oh. And it turns out, yes, indeed, his very first stitches, he got to two and a Why half years old. Why does he look old. so happy? Is he hepped up on the goofball? Well, no, he thought that the hospital was this, because his big brother, uh, he's had a few things in his life, so he's been through Children's Hospital before. Youngest has never been there, except for when his brother goes. So for him, it's just a play area, right? He's there having a great time, everything else. The doctor gave his freezing, his injection, before he gave the stitches, and he looked at him and he said, thank you. Wow. You're in trouble with that smell. kid if he's got no pain. If, if, if I could choose, and I hope my children don't watch this later on in their life, but I, I think if there's going to be one out of the two of them that's probably in for stitches more often, it's, it's going to be my youngest. It's yeah. going to be calm. It's and always the youngest. We're not sure whether the youngest was involved in the stitching incident. We suspect the perhaps oldest? based yeah, our, our eldest, William, because uh, when it happened, Colm was crying a little bit, not much, and the eldest one ran upstairs in his room, slammed the door, and started crying. So we he did assume... It. He did it! He did it! He did it! Anyway, boys, if you're watching this when you're 16 or 17, Daddy never talked about you on television. The other thing we did this weekend, it's pumpkin time. One week away from Halloween, so oh we went pumpkin God, shopping. Oh, my God, look how big those pumpkins are. Look did you at get the your pumpkin size. at a grocery store? Yeah. Well, they're going to the pumpkin patch today. Okay, but are they going to see? Are they going to see corn and corn corn? Because at the pumpkin patch, no, you, don't you go to that pumpkin patch where corn and corn corn lives? What is corn and corn corn? <laughs> it's a giant corn husk that chases the children <laughs> around the pumpkin patch. Is and that I, why they won't eat corn and anymore? And my sister always tries to take me to the pumpkin patch. She's like, "We're going to go see corn and corn corn." I'm like, "I am not coming. <laughs> I am so really... scared of that thing." Who 
thinks up these mascots? Like who, who yeah, goes, I don't know. hey, let's have a guy dressed up as a big ear of corn that chases the children. And he just like kind of does what mascots do, which is like, hey kids. Does he give That's up? not scary. Does he give up corn? Like what does he do? Anyway, uh, Mike Here. is making himself out to be Mr. Homebody, like he doesn't do anything, but I happen to have a, a very video. Much a family oriented man. A video that one of your friends sent me of a party that you were at over the weekend. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my god. I was actually really scared there for a minute. I know, I love hearing uh, it. We had to cut out the part where they fling stuff at each that other. That's out. when it's like after midnight. I was waiting to see a keg and. <laughs> and corny corn corn. And corny corn. <laughs> <laughs>